Hi, how is going? Today I will show you three great apps which you can use to watch adult content on your Fire TV stick for free. And without any further ado, let's take a look at the first app. The app is called Incognito Play and basically is the ultimate privacy hub for your adult content. And while the app actually has millions of movies, they are not just about quantity but about quality as well. So the best part about your experience with the app is that you always remain private and secure. The app has a special privacy hub, which means you get no tracking and no cookies, unlike the majority of other adult apps or browsers. It also has a great spam protection, which means you don't get any intrusive ads or unwanted redirects, and it also prevents the loading of any malware, therefore maintaining a safety of your device. So let's see how you can set it up. First of all, you have to get an app called Unloader, and there is a really high chance that you already have it on your device. So if you have the app and you know how to use it and it's properly set up, then just keep to the next part of this video. But if you don't have the loader yet, or you're not sure how to properly set it up, then watch this part of the video as well. You can get the loader for free from the official Amazon App Store. Just go to search by clicking on that gear icon right here, search and start typing the loader here. As you can see, here it is at the bottom, click on it, and that's the app which you need to download. But after you downloaded the app, that's not it yet, you also have to set it up. So we'll go to settings by clicking on that gear icon here in the right part of the screen. Then we scroll down to My Fire TV. Click on it. Here you have to open developer options, make sure to enable ADB debugging. And then we go to install unknown apps and we have to make sure to enable this option for your loader. So what it does, it allows us to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily from the official Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. But also there's a chance that if you use a newer Fire TV Stick device or Fire TV Cube, the developer options might be hidden for you by default. So if you can find developer options anywhere, do not worry, it's really easy to make them appear. In that case, just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and then click on the middle button of your remote for seven times, and do it fast. So let's do it. As you can see, now at the bottom for me it says no need, you are already a developer, that's in my case. In your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now, and if you just go back a bit, you will finally see the developer options. So now, if you go to the list of apps on your device, you will finally see the downloader here. But also, there is one more thing which I really recommend doing before actually accessing the loader. To be transparent, it's not mandatory, but I really recommend doing it. It's of course connecting to a VPN. There is a lot of different VPNs out there, but I do recommend NordVPN because they're fast and they got a great app for Fire Sticks and other devices as well, such as your mobile phones, your laptop, PC, or any other device, and they are not expensive for such a premium service. So what a VPN does, it hides all the things that you do online, so your landlord or your internet provider will not be able to tell what apps, what websites you're accessing online, and that really comes in handy, especially if you're accessing adult apps, like we're going to today. NordVPN is also great for blocking apps, blocking malware, especially when downloading files, and accessing geo-blocked content. So if some content is not available in your country, you can just open VPN, connect to a different location, and you will be able to access that content now. So if you want to get a VPN, you can use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below this video. If you use my link, you'll get one month of NordVPN totally for free, which is a great deal. Once again, using a VPN is not mandatory, but it's a big plus if you don't want your internet provider or your landlord to know what you're doing. After you got the VPN safely connected and set up, we are ready to use the loader, so let's open the app. In here we we'll have to type a link, you will now see it on the screen, so you have to enter it exactly as you see it. So here is the link on the screen, it's a.incognitoplay.app. Make sure to enter the link exactly as you see it without any typos or mistakes, because in that case the link wouldn't work. And after it's done, just click on the go button. Now the download has started, and usually it doesn't take long. But of course, it all depends on your internet connection speed. Here you gotta click on install in the right bottom corner. And after the app is installed, do not click on open yet. Instead, press on done. We're doing it this way so we could delete the installation file because we don't need it anymore. 
but it clogs the memory of your Fire TV Stick device. So always delete the installation files after the app is installed. And you should follow the same steps for the other two apps which you see today in this tutorial. So click on delete and now we have deleted the installation file. And now if you go to the list of apps on your device, you will see the new adult app amongst your applications. Obviously I cannot show you what's inside because YouTube would not like it, but in the app you'll find around 500 different categories of different movies and around 7 million movies themselves, which is a huge and amazing number. So I'm sure you will like this app. And now let me show you two other apps which you definitely should also install to your Fire Stick. So the process itself is pretty similar to the first app because we already have the downloader downloaded and properly set up. So there are no more settings which we need to change. We just need to enter a different link. So here is a link for you on the screen. This one is really easy to enter. And after you enter the link, just press and go. Then a website is going to open and all you have to do is just click on the download official app link. So the process here is the same, you just install the app and make sure to delete the installation file. So this app is really well known and has been here for ages, which means it has a lot of categories and a lot of movies to choose from. And for this app, I really recommend having a mouse toggle app as well, because it's going to make it way easier to actually navigate it. So here's the mouse toggle app, basically what it does, it allows you to use a mouse cursor on the Fire Stick. So you can see this cursor now on the screen. It basically works like a virtual mouse for your device and makes it way easier to browse for your content. And you can use it in any application, web browsers, media applications, adult apps, pretty much anywhere. I will not show the whole process of setting up a mouse toggle in this video because I already have a tutorial for that on my channel. So I will leave a link to that tutorial in the description of the video. So make sure to check it out as well. And now it's time to reveal the third app for today. You can see the link address on the screen, enter it in your search bar and press on go. Then a website is going to open and all you gotta do is click on the Android app button. And now the download has started. Once again, click on install and then later on delete the installation file. And here you go, here's a third app for adult content on your Fire Stick. And I do also recommend getting a mouse toggle for this app as well, because it's going to be way easier to navigate as well. And as always, make sure to consider using a VPN. NordVPN is currently running a great deal. You can get this standard offer for around $3 a month. If you get a two-year plan, if you take a look at one-year plan, it will be slightly more expensive. And a monthly plan is honestly too expensive, I believe. So the best deal would be to get a two-year plan. In that case, you'll pay only around 3 bucks for a month. For that price, you'll get a great VPN, malware protection, tracker and ad blocker. And if you decide to add some more money, you can also get a password manager, data breach scanner and one terabyte of cloud storage. So think about it and if you decide to make the purchase now, you'll get even four extra months for free to your subscription plan. Which sounds great to be honest. 